interestingly, um, I'm surprised to hear that that there's such a flow to South Florida, but it makes sense that it's from a different perspective, because I'll tell you, I'm I'm with your colleague in uh, in Michigan to say, mm-hmm. where is all this Chicago money coming from? Because I right. can't tell you even your referrals in the the, yeah. the last year plus at least six other referrals of yeah. folks that are coming from Chicago and Chicago land. Um, it's, it's, it's remarkable. So, and I'm just for our audience, I'm on the, the West coast of Florida. So it's a yeah. very, very different experience than um, South Florida and the, and the Miami and the, that, that greater area there. Um, yeah. I don't, I, I think for a large city, uh, you know, Chicago is almost 3 million people downtown. In the greater Chicago, there's 9 million. And people don't really fully understand that. And I think, again, it's the Midwest. We probably could do more with marketing, I think. But there are massive companies up here. You know, John Deere, um, Walgreens, uh, State Farm, like a lot of Fortune 500 companies. But also, you know, we have the Chicago Board of Trade up here. Um, If you look at it, even from a sports perspective, I mean, Sports teams now are worth billions of dollars. We have six. You know, there's very few fit cities that have one. Um, so I think that there's a lot of money here. And comparatively, I'm always like, it boggles my mind sometimes when I talk to people in South Florida, in Florida in general, in New York, Seattle, Portland. We have higher taxes, but our prices for houses, it like pales in comparison. To what you get. So I think a lot of the people that move to these locations in Florida, warmer climates, A, they're done with the winter. Okay. Right. Like I'm, I grew up in Michigan. It doesn't bother me. I think it's a mindset, you know. But I think once you start getting to a certain age, you know, I'm probably getting there. I'm 50, but you don't want to shovel anymore. You don't want, but you've been saving up money because now you own your home, most likely, because the prices aren't as high. And you're going to sell that. That's going to be cash that you can stick into an investment property that down in Florida, the property taxes. So like the, the monthly costs are so much lower because now you don't have a mortgage. You hardly have any property taxes, you know? So there's different things. And there's just, uh, I just think it's a Midwest thing. People sock yeah. away money here. Yeah, yeah. But that's a good thing to know too, how to sell. Saying to somebody, like I always joke with some of the um, agents from Florida, saying like it's super sunny and like hot, sexy. Like you don't think of hot and sexy when you think of Chicago, you know? But saying that there are great restaurants, because we take for granted we have amazing restaurants. But you can golf. It's 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to golf. Here, it's an hour to get to golf. Like it's that's the way. It's a whole event to get to golf. So showing the conveniences of why you live in those areas. Sure. And it. as we say in the Institute, it's all about the lifestyle and, right. um, and, and those trigger points. So I see exactly. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's totally, yeah. It sure is. So you mentioned um, a couple of resources that, um, that you use for building your network. And I want to explore that just a little bit more. So how, how do you build your network and, and build your team of referral partners yeah. around, do do? around yeah. the globe? Well, I think that you have to, as much money as people spend going out to dinner and things, if you really equate, we can take a trip for a few hundred dollars. And now we can now with the pandemic. So this is something that I used to do all the time. I made a point to travel at least three, four times a year to the South, to South Florida, to New York, to these different like to California and see some of my contacts out there. So I was looking at traveling as a marketing expense, just like you would spend on magazines, just like you spend on your internet, just you spend on your leads. Uh, I think in my opinion, it's much more, it's a much better return on investment. Me going to see someone personally and building up that relationship and having information about that market and people seeing it and me giving, because people want to know what's the market like down there. Oh, well, I have an agent down there, but I've traveled down there a couple of times this year. Really? You know, so, 
So I, it's a, it's a, it's a hands-on approach. Yeah. And it's intentional and it's fun because of course it you is. Know, we need write-offs. So yeah. you also, um, you make it a point to attend certain conferences, whether it's industry or, um, you know, other broad minded things. Well, um, what I are your must goals. goes? Yeah. I have goals. Two of them are going to leaders in luxury, which is the Institute for luxury home marketing, um, yearly conference that I will say changed my life. I can go into that in a second. And then uh, I try and pick, I've gone to Inman in New York. I've gone to it in San Francisco. Um, Patrick Lilly, I've been to his conference uh, one time in Denver. Realm Global is, uh, so I try and go to different, because I also think it helps. A, going to these conferences, you're meeting other agents that don't look at you as a competition, but they can be a referral source and they'll give you the tricks of the trade. You know, they'll give you someone you can talk to and say like, hey, I have this listing or I have obviously someone referring. So a lot of it became intentional, you know, that, okay, you're looking at the beginning of the year, you're looking at the next five, you want to get to a certain place. You have to go to these conferences. Look at any other industry. I mean, I've been in a multiple. They have conferences all the time. You know, that's right. How many of our clients do we talk to? Oh, yeah, I'm going to this medical conference. Oh, I'm going to, you know, they are constantly, uh, what are the Franklin Covey, like sharpening the saw. That's right. You have to, you know, and I think it also gets us uh, our market. Sometimes you need to be around other people where you can let loose and talk about these crazy, not only agents in your market or like clients or just the trials and tribulations. Sure. And as, you have people as the market around evolves. You. Yeah, at your net, at your level, that sure. understand. What so you're talking yeah, about. so so the the peers that are at your professional level, I think, is yeah. uh, is where you're going. 